הקדוש בוקר אור מסכת קידושים דף סמ"ו עמוד א' 66A1 We were talking about a case right now where Abaye comes and he says, what happens if one Ed comes and he tells him, Shorecha Nirba, your shor was done, um, became pasul through a korban because your shor was, had relations with a human being. Meaning obviously it was a human being that did the, the action. And therefore, Vahala Shotek, another guy, he kept quiet. So what happens? He says, Neeman, he's going to be believed. Why? Because the fact that he kept quiet, he's going to be believed. With Tanatuna, what's the, what's the proof? which is nirba, which means that an avera was done with it, v'shehemit al pi edichad, or it was going to be killed, right, through one ed, or al pi abalim, or the balim themselves, right, which means that the, this, this um, shore killed the human being. Okay, so he says it's going to be neman. Hay al pi edichad, hey chidan, what's the case of pi edichad? If the balim are modim, so hay no al pi abalim. El alava, rather, there's edichad coming, and the balim are shotkim, the shatik. And the fact that he kept quiet, that's why the halacha is like that. And you need both cases. Why do you need both cases? He says, the yashmin and hach kamaita, as if it's going to be the first case, he says, he loved the kim le benafshe, the avad chulim ba'azara, rabbi mait, maiti. He says, if he wasn't for sure that it's going to be 100% the case, so then he wouldn't have done it. Which means, right, he wouldn't have actually been modeh that he's going to come and eat it. Aval, however, though, nitzmeu ta'arotecha, You remember the case of Nitzmeu Tarotecha? It means that a person comes and he says, Ah, your Taharot became Tameh. So, I'm going to say, Hi, Dishati, the reason why he kept quiet is the Savar as he holds, that it's fitting for him when he's Tameh. Meaning, when he's Tameh, he could eat this. You're right, when he's Tahor, maybe you shouldn't eat it. But when he's Tameh, there's no problem with him eating this. And if you're going to tell me now this case, so he says, He comes and he says, Because you're losing. Right? Bimet Arato during the time of the Tara. Aval Shoro Nirba. But in the case of Shoro, which is going to be Nirba. Meim Arama, kol ha-shvarim lav gabir mizbeach kaimu. You would have said that, listen, not all the shores are going to be by the mizbeach. And therefore, tzricha, that's what you need it. Which means not all the shvarim are going to come and be brought as a korban. Except for why should I even go against them? What do I care? Okay, fine. So I'm not going to use it for a korban. I'm going to use it for something else. That's why I kept quiet. So somebody comes to me and says, you're sure this. Okay, what do I care? I'm going to use it for something else. I'm not going to bring it for a korban. And so that's the way it is. So now we're going to ask the following question, right? He comes and he says like this. What happens if one witness comes and he testifies on an eshetish that she was zinta, vishotek, right? And the guy keeps quiet. Ma'u what's alakha? Amar Abaye, Abaye comes and he says, yeah, Neeman. He says, he says, Neeman. What does it mean, Neeman? He says, Neeman is going to be believed. Rava Amar Rava says, Eno Neeman, he's not going to be believed. Why? There's no Dvar Shabar Vah, Pachot Mishnayim. Yeah? That's the way it is. So, Abaye, one more time. Somebody comes and he says, your wife cheated on you. And it's one witness. Yeah? He comes and he says, the Shotek, that's like a Mara. Mama does it. Abaye says, he's Neeman. He's believed. He's believed. No, yeah. no, I said it to you. He says, believed. Rava says, Eno Neeman. He's not believed. Right? Avi Dvash Berva, Ve'en Dvash Berva Pachom Yishayim. He says Dvash Berva. And any Dvash Berva, it's not going to be less than two. So Amr Abayi Abayi comes and he says, Mena Amin Allah, how do we know this? Da'u Samia, Da'ava Mesader Mataniyata Kamed Mor Shmuel. There was a Suma, that his derech was, to teach Mishnayot and Brightot Balpeh, in front of the Amura Shemuel. Yom Achad Nagale Velo Bakati. One day, right, he didn't come. Right? So imagine, one, the first day he didn't come to Shiur. Imagine right now, yesterday we have a Shiur. The guy doesn't come to Shiur, I'm going to send him a messenger. Shada Shlicha Vatrech. Yeah? He comes and he says, send him a messenger. Ade Azil Shliach. He comes and he says, Ade Azil Shliach Vachada Orcha. Ata Iu Bechada. When the Shliach was going in one way, he came the other way. When the Shiach came, Amari said to the Suma, Right, when he was there, when he was not home, right, <laughs> he said his wife cheated on him. He came in front of Morshmuel, and he told him, By the way, this is halacha lemaseh. If the one Shliach comes to you, Suma no Suma. If the one Shliach comes to you, 
by Tsuma just means that you did, no, no, you were blind to the you were blind to the you were blind to the to the contract, right? That that's the concept. Okay, so he says when he says if the guys if the guys believe to you, Zilab cut take her out. That's for for cheating or for any matter. No, no, we're talking about cheating only. Oh, okay. Right? The law, and if not, don't take her out. Meaning, what do you mean? That's the divorce. Ah, okay. If she well, cheated on yeah. him, he has the divorce. It's yeah. only for, so, for the union of cheating. Of course. The wife not she, no, it's not for uh, your partner uh, took some money from you or. Okay. Well, well I, I don't know. So one more time. One more time. Go if deal with if it. I come and I tell, right, John Doe, that his partner came and he stole from him a million dollars, right? It's worthless. I'm one witness. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. But if I come and I tell John Doe, his wife cheated on him. And now the guy starts thinking, oh, wow, you know what? I did see something a little bit fishy. I realized, I don't know what, this, that, that. He starts thinking about it. So now, one second, she becomes prohibitive. So says the Gimara, right? And this is what he's answering. And he says, if the shaliach is named man to you and you believe the shaliach, you have to give her a get and get rid of her. And if not, then no. So says the Gimara, my love, are we not dealing, dealing with imehem and alach, the love gazlanu? Are you going to come that he's not going to be, the shliach is not going to be a gazan, which is pasul edut, which means that he's like an ed kashen. And you know that basically this guy is no pasul edut. So if so, you have to take her out with a get. So it comes out that here you see that an ed echad kashel edut is going to be believed to prohibit a woman onto her husband. So says the Gimara, the Rava, one minute, I'm not answering. The Rava and Rava comes and he asks, zilapka. He says, no, the Kavanah of Shmuel was, right? He comes, he says, like this. he says, right? If right now he's going to be believed to you, so then you take him out, take her out. But if not, don't take her out, which means if the Shaliach is like to you, like two witnesses, so and you know that the guy's not going to lie, so then you're right. So then take her out with a get, right? Why? Because that means she, she's in ta. But if not, don't take her out. So Amar Abaye Abaye comes and he says, "Mena amina la." How do I know the salacha? The Tanya we learned in the Brayta, "Maaseh bi'anai melech." We're going to explain with bi'anai melech. Shalach lekochalit, and he went to this certain place. Should be minbar. Mechibesh sham sheshim krakim, right? And he went and he conquered sixty cities. Uvechazerto ayas sameach simcha gadol. And he was so happy. Karo chumah Yisrael. Amalem he told them, "Avoteno yu ochlim maluchim." Our forefathers were coming and eating yirakot. When they were eating the when they were doing the Bet Amidash Shani, so we are going to eat Meluchim, right? To remember our forefathers. So they came and they started eating Meluchim shel shulchanot shel zahav. They were eating on on golden tables. So there was there were there were there was a guy there. Ish lats right live rau bliyal. So you know you're always going to have a guy like this, yeah. Ish lats is a bal live ra. Right, Belial, Belazar ben Poirian Shemo. Right, his name was Elazar ben Poirida. But Yom and Elazar ben Poirida, the Yerai Melech, Yerai Melech, Libam shel Pushim Alecha. Yeah, he comes and he says the Libam of the Chofme Israel is on you, which means your enemies they're not happy with you. Uma Ese, and what am I going to do? Right, Akem Laem Batzitz Shemenecha. He comes and he says, put the tzitz between your eyes, which means. Right, um, you, the Chachamim will come and they'll because basically since it says that on the tzitz it's written Kodesh Hashem, so if they thought right that the Chachamim that you're not fitting to be a Kohen Gadol, it's going to actually reveal to them that which is in their hearts, right? And that's what Yanai Melech did. No, it wasn't a Kohen. Hekim lahem one second one every morning. Hekim lahem right, but tzitz sheben enav right. So all of a sudden he put the tzitz. Right between his eyes, right, and this is what's actually coming out over here. Okay, and now he comes and he says, um, he comes and he says like this. He says as follows. Okay, here he says that you're only allowed to put on the the bigadim, the big dekuna during avodat amidash, right? But here, right, this is during the 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 time of the suda, right? That's the entire question. So he comes and he says like this. Hayasham zaken echad yuda ben gididiyashemo. He tells him, I don't understand you. He says, it's already enough. You have Keter Malchut. You're Yanaya Melech. You're the king. You also need Keter Kiuna. 
Meaning, leave the kids to Kuna for the Kohanim. What are, what are you going to take the tzitz? Does it mean that yeah? from the Shavit Yehuda? Obviously, he was a king. Right. So he comes and he says, Shayu Mim, because they said on Yanai, Shimon Ishbet the Mudim, that his mother was captured by the Guim in Mudim. Okay? And a Shvuya is Psula le Kuna mid Rabbanan. So what happened was, is that the father, right, came and he got married to her. So it comes out that he's a Halal. He's a halal of Sul in the Kiuna. Okay? Yanai. 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 Yanai so he comes and he says, <laughs> right? So therefore, one second. So he comes and he says, so therefore, what, so beforehand, they weren't able to find anything. That means they weren't able to be mevared about the mother, whether Be'emet, she was captured or not. So the Chachmei Yisrael, they came and they separated from the king, Bezan, which means they were upset, right? The, the you know, Yanai Melech was upset. Right, because of the Mechav Yehuda ben Gedia. Right, if they're going to come and they're going to be Mbazea person, right? The, so, you know, okay, fine, that's one thing. Right, you're supposed to just keep quiet. So, Yanai Melech comes and he says, What am I going to do? He says, Go and kill them. This is a bandit, this bad guy. Right, I told you, there's always a bad guy. Right? So he says, Right? So he, he says, one second. These are all the rabbis. If I'm going to kill all the rabbis, what, what's going to happen? So he says, So what are you talking about? The Torah is there. Whoever wants could go and learn. What's the problem? There's a separate Torah. Nobody's going to forget it. <coughs> says Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Miyad Nizreka Bo Apikosut. Immediately there was Pikasut. Why? Davali the man was he should have said, Tenach Turash Bihtab, you're right. The Sefer Torah is there. Meaning, you could learn the Sefer Torah, there's no problem. <laughs> but Turash <laughs> Balpeh Mai. What's going on with Turash <laughs> Balpeh? Meaning at the end of the day, okay, fine, very good. Whatever is written is written. What about Turash Balpeh? Miyad va tutsat sarraal yid el azab and puriya. Immediately came out the bad through El Azab and Purida. Fayargu kol chachme isen. He killed all the chachme isen. Yanai killed all of them. Right? And the world was without Torah. Right? That basically, that basically, you have to remember that he was actually the brother-in-law. Right? He says over here, Shimon ben Shatach was a chi ishto of Alexander Yanai. Right? And what happened was that the sister, that she was a queen, she hit him. And therefore, he was the one that actually brought back the Torah but he came and he killed all the Chachamim. Look what a trap, right, did this guy do? This guy came and he made a trap. And even though the Chachamim Israel, right, they went and they said, right, he went and he told the, the Chachamim, look, you know, you know, we were eating, you know, vegetables and everything. And now we're going to come, we're going to eat it on golden tables and look what we're doing. It was this bad guy that he was always against the rabbis. So what did he do? He went and he brought it up and he told them, you know what, go put on the, the, the tzitz. And by putting on the seats, you're not going to be able to come into, <laughs> into how do you call this? <coughs> and to be able to know what's in the hearts of the people because exactly. they're not actually not going to be happy with you. And by not actually be happy with you, right, it's going to become uh, a problem. You understand? Now, just remember that this is during the time of the second Bet Amidash, right? And Yanai came from the Hashmonaim. So he was a Kohen, but now the question is, obviously, he could have been a Halal if the mother Behemet was uh, captured. Right, so therefore it was going to become a big problem. So he comes and he says, "It could be, it could be the ima." So he comes and he says, "Right." So he comes and he says, "No, tamid agmar lefi." No, no, ham be, ham be. Once in a while. He says, Echidami. So now one second. What exactly, what does it mean now that they looked at it and they didn't find it? Remember, what happened was Yanai, one more time, let's zoom out. Yanai comes from the Hashwanaim. So the Hashwanaim during the Bet Bet Yeshatata, right? The Yanai comes from the Hashwanaim during the second Bet Amidash. The Hashmonaim took away the Melukha from Yehuda, if you remember, and they became the kings. And then therefore afterwards, they were punished that they were all wiped out. But they were the kings at the time. That was the Hashmonaim. 
What? They're from Benjamin? No, no, no. Kohanim. Kohanim, I just said. Kohanim. One more time. Kohanim. So they come from Shevet Levi. So now what happens is as follows. So Yanai Melech is here. And he comes and he starts conquering one after another, one after another, one after another. Right? Fine. No, no, no. They took it from the kings of Yudah. So now one second. So now what happens is that this Yanai Melech is the king. And when he's the king, right, during Bait Shani, what happens is, is that he conquers a whole bunch of places. And then they come back and he starts making a big feast and everything and they call the Chachmi. So what happens is this bandit, this bad guy, right, always comes and he says, ah, you think that the, you have a lot of enemies that they're, they're not happy with you. They're not happy that you came and you want all those things. Now he says, if you want to really know who's your enemies, very simple, put the tzitz. And by putting the tzitz on, you know what's in the hearts of the people. And now you're going to be able to find out who's been met with you and who's not with you. So that's what he did. He comes, he takes the seats and he puts it on. So now one of the rabbis comes and he says, hi, why, 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 you know, like, you know what? Leave the, leave the keter kiuna. Leave the, the keter kiuna l'koanim and leave yours up. Now, what does it mean leave the keter kiuna to koanim? He's a koan. He's king. Allowed. But rather, but rather he comes and he says that they were saying that the mother was captured. Now, if the mother was captured, there, but... right? So therefore, it's going to be a problem because now he's a halal. And if he's a halal, obviously he can't become a Kohen, Kohen Gadol. He can't even do the service at all. So what happened was the Gemara said, What does that mean? They looked into it. They tried to look into it, but they couldn't find it. So the Gemara is going to ask, what does that mean they looked into it? If you're going to tell me the two people came in, they said, two people said that she was not captured. Why are you relying upon these two? Well, upon the other two. Ella, but rather it was an Ed Echad. There was only one Ed that came and said that the mother was the captured, one. right? One Ed. The first one. What's the first one? There's only one Ed. She was captured. Then. So one, one, second, second. one second, one second. One second. One second. So there was one Ed yeah. that she was captured, right? And because of that, they wanted to come and say that she's Pasul. And then came two witnesses that said that she was not captured. And therefore, they said that she's kosher. So the reason why is because there were two people that were going against that one, that do that one. But if there's not going to be two people going against that one, and that one only comes, you're going to be believed. So you see from here, Ed is That's believed. Risk, yeah. Right? Is believed. Because it, if not, it would have been. So the Gemara answers the same answer that we mentioned before. The Rava. What's the answer according to Rava again in this case? So he says, Really, by many, it was two against two. Which means that the two, right, were just Edei Azama. Which means that the last two, they was not Hachasha. He was saying, how could you have testified that, that, that this woman was captured? You guys were with us in a different place. And therefore, since it was, so therefore, that's why they said that he was made kosher again. That's the first answer. So it's really Bemet, two against two. But the two against two was not Hachasha. It's not that two said that she was captured and two said that she was not captured. And then we asked, so why are you believing these two and not to believe the other two? No, 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 no. It was Imanu Ayit and it was Azama. Remember that when you have Imanu Ayit and you completely uproot the testimony. So therefore, there's no testimony whatsoever. So if you're going to ask me, how many people do you have witnesses that she was, she became uh, captured? Zero. Nil. Why? Because the two did Hazama on the first two. The first two came and she said that she was captured. And the next two came and said, you guys were with us in Honolulu. What are you talking about now? So that's going to be the first answer. If you want, you can answer the second answer. Which means that there was no hachasha on the Dutra Rishona, but rather they went and they said that there were other Yudim that came, the Ganvua Mina Shevi Miyad Shvet, which means that there was no Yehud yet. And therefore they switched her with a Shivcha. Right? And therefore, Right, the Nochli father was still the mother of Yanai, and really Bemet, the mother of Yanai, was never Bemet prohibited. So everyone understood what happened. One more time, what happened was is that she was captured, but immediately after she was captured, they went and they switched her for a shivcha. So therefore, the cap the captives, right, the ones that right, the ones that captured her, thought this is the mother of Yanai, but really Bemet, they switched her. Was and they purposely, the Jews, the Jews purposely switched her in order to let that she was, no, after they already kidnapped her, but before, before there was, there was no any time of Yichud, they went and they switched her in order that she was not prohibited whatsoever. Okay? And now, what? No, that's what they're saying. That was the answer. That's what it's like. 
That's what Rabbi Yitzchak. No, no, no. Rabbi Yitzchak says that's why there was no, there was nothing of the no witnesses to Again, obviously that's what he's saying. There's Teyote because this was the Maaseh. So Ama Rava Rava comes and he says, right now he's going to bring a proof to this that one Ed is not going to be believed. He comes and he says, 66b. He says, How do I know that one Ed is not believed? The Tanam, as we learned in the Tosefta, Amarabi Shimon says to Shimon, Maaseh, Bimgura. There was a story, right, in a Megura, which is basically a Brechat Mayim, which was like a Mikveh, a Mikveh Tara, Sheldiskim, and it's the name of a person, the name of a place, Miyavne, Shaita Omede Becheskat Shlema, that it was a Chazaka, that it was going to be a, a full Mikveh. Then in Set Chaser Madadu, so they measured it, and then in Set Chaserah, then it was found actually less, okay? Kol Tarot Shina Asur Gaba, anything that they did in it, Rabbi Ayar Rabbi Tafon Metayel, Rabbi Kiva Metameh, Amar Rabbi Tafon says, Rabbi Tafon, this mikveh was b'cheskat shalem. You want to come and say that during the time of the tevila, misafek, you want to say that it was chaser. So don't don't make it chaser misafek. So Amar Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva says, Adam ze b'cheskat amehu. One second, why are you looking at the mikveh? Look at the person. This person, I'm going to explain in one minute. I'm going to explain in one minute. So it says Rabbi Kiva, this person was b'cheskat tamel woman. Misafek atabal l'tora. So basically, it says like this. So you've got a machloket here between Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Tarfon. One more time. I've got a mikveh. Right? And I come and I dip the things in the mikveh. Yeah. Now we know that there's a certain measure of a mikveh, yeah. Rabbi Imseah. Right. If it's going to be less than Rabbi Imseah, it's nothing. Right? Nowadays, Baruch Hashem, there's much more than Rabbi Imseah. But, in, you know, let's say you want a mikveh exactly Rabbi Imseah. Mm-hmm. So if it's going to be lacking, there's nothing. What happened was, you had a mikveh that has cheskat kashrut. It had arba imseah. All of a sudden, you come, you measure it, and it's just under arba imseah. So, we learned many times already. So, the Gemara now says like this. There's a machloka between Rabbi Tarfon and Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Tarfon says, everything is kosher, which means that whatever you did here, until now, was kosher. So, if you just purified utensils, you just purified yourself to eat truma, whatever it is, you, everything's kosher. Okay, okay. No, no, okay. Okay. Right? So he comes and he says, and he says, right now, he says, no, everything's tamer. So says the for one second, I don't understand it. This mikveh was tahor. You want to come and you want to say the mikveh is chaser. Why are you going to make a chaser, misafek? So if I leave the, the mikveh on the chaska kashut, says the Akiva, I don't understand you. Why are you looking at the mikveh? I'm looking at the human being. The human being now was had a chazaka of tamer. Right, you want to come and you want to sure. take him out. Sure. In order for you to take him out, you have to take him out with something that for sure is going to be tahor. So don't make him tahor mi safek. So that's a machlok between them. Are you looking at the human being? Or are you looking at the mikveh? So Amar Bitafon says Bitafon, Mashal le'omed o makri v'gome mizeach. Imagine you have a coin that is on the mizbeach. Menoda shu ben gushav v'chalutza. And all of a sudden, you find out that he's a ben gushav v'chalutza. Now we know that ben gushav v'chalutza is a halal. So what happens? that he did until now is kasher. And the Gwena is going to explain why. So therefore, he comes and he says, same thing with the mikveh. Meaning, just like over here, whatever this guy did beforehand was kosher, so to here, this human being should be kosher. So Amar Biyakiva says, Biyakiva, he says, no. Imagine you're right now on the Mizbeach, what about if he's now Balmum? See, so he says, Avodato psula. <clears throat> the avodah that you just did previously is pasul. <clears throat> so the same thing. Here, right, when this, just like the Kohen Balmum, everything becomes pasul, even though at the beginning we didn't know it's pasul, and now we did it with Shogay, what did we make there? That if right now it's chaser b'shat at it's not going to be taot, even though we didn't know that it's pasul. Amar bitafon, atadi nitol balmum, that, huh, you're saying it's like a balmum, I'm saying that the mikveh is like a ben gushan Who is it compared to? Idome, if it's going to be compared to the ben gushan so Rekiva came and he wanted to bring a proof that it was going to be like a Balmum. Mikveh pasul, pasul yachid. Balmum, so he says, one second, a Mikveh, the Psul, is with a Yachid. Which means that one Ed could come and say that it's going to be what? That it's going to be lacking. Meaning one witness is believed. So too, a Balmum is one witness is believed. Ed Echad could come and say that this coin is Balmum. You need two witnesses. Another explanation. Mikveh psulo begufo. The mikveh is pasul in its body, which means in the gufa mikveh. Balmum is a psul in the gufa mikveh, in the body. Don't bring the proof from Gerushal 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 Ger
אמר לרבי ביטלפון, זה זה ביטלפון? עקיבא, כל הפורש ממך כפורש מן החיים. Right? You speak, תורת חיים של אמת. And therefore, he actually comes, and he agreed to Rabbi Kippa. Yeah, he agreed to Rabbi Kippa. Yeah, he agrees to him. So now the question is, one second, let's go back and analyze. What do we just say now? He says, I balmum shu psulo biyachid. This balmum, the psul, is a biyachid. What's the case? What does that mean that one witness comes and he says that he's a balmum? If he's saying, no, I'm not a balmum, is he going to be believed? Ela deshati, obviously he kept quiet. The same thing by Ben Gushem Chalutza. The same thing by Ben Gushem Chalutza. The shatik that he kept quiet. The ketanium we learned. Nikve psulo biyachid. Valmum psulo biyachid. Valmum psulo biyachid. Valmum psulo biyachid. So what's going on over here? <laughs> You're telling me that one Ed comes and he says that he's a Balmum. If he disagrees, right? If the guy comes and he says, what are you talking about? I'm not a Balmum. There's nothing to talk about. So obviously, he's keeping quiet. The same thing that's happening, right? By the mikveh. And the same thing that's happening by the Balmum. So therefore, what's the case then? It's the exact same case that he kept quiet. And therefore, that's going to be enough. So Ed Echad, that's going to testify on the Psul of a Kohen, that he's Ben Gushal. He's not going to be believed, even if the Kohen is, 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 is Shotek. Why? Because we just said here, it's Devash Berva. And Devash Berva, right, is not going to be believed. What? Not Shotek. Not Shotek. 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 That is Shotek. He's keeping quiet. Right? He's Shotek. Right? He's keeping quiet. So says the Gemara, Abayi Aman, Abayi Kavim, he says no. Le'olam de Machish no. Really, by Ahmed, he's machish. Right? What does it mean, machish? The Kohen comes and he says, it's not true. I'm not a man who shall be called Lutzah and everything. Would come out, so if you tell me, my man, why would he be believed? Right? That he's going to be a Balmum or things like that. The that he says, Shalach Achvoi. The Ed comes and he tells the Kohen, if by Ahmed, you're not a Balmum, the Chavot, take off your clothing and show us. Right? So therefore, even if an Ed is going to be machash, he's going to be believed. תהיינו דיקטני, that's what we said, מקווה פסול בגופו, פלמום פסולו בגופו, ולראות בין משום גרוצה, שפסולו מאחרים, which means, the פלמום, the פסול is בגופו, so we could be מברר. the מקווה, the פסול is בגופו, so we could actually check right now, if it's going to be חסר או לא. and therefore it's going to be פסול, even with one ed. אבל בין גרושה מחרוצה, you cannot be מברר, the פסול, and therefore you always need two witnesses. okay, to do with בין גרושה מחרוצה. so says the גמרה, הוא בין גרושה וחלוצה, תעבודתו כשירה מן Okay, so until here, one more time. We just said, Ben Gushav HaChalutza, two witnesses to make a Ben Gushav HaChalutza. Balmum, one witness, and the Mikveh, one witness. Why? Because it's a Psul Bikufo, you could check it right then and there. Now we're going to say like this. What was the case that we, we brought up? We started, the case was, is that a guy is on the Mizbeach, he's doing the sacrifice, and all of a sudden they come and they tell him, ah, you're Ben Gushav HaChalutza. Whatever he did until now is kosher. Whatever he did until now is kosher. How do we know that? How do you know? Obviously, it's a bit weird, but how do we know that Bichlal is kosher? So, I'm not even sure what it says. The Amarkad HaPasuk says, Vaital lo zaro acharav, ben zera kasher u ben zera pasul. Which means, it doesn't matter whether it's going to be zera kasher or pasul. Pasul is obviously a halal. He's got a din of kiuna. And therefore, obviously, it's not lechatchila. Right? Because since he was nitchalel, he doesn't have it. But b'diavad, he's still a kohen. So therefore, since he's still a Kohen, but the Avad, his service is still a good service in the Beit HaMikdash. So Yanai so, was, so Yanai could be there then. Well, what's it do with Yanai? We're talking about now. I understand, but I'm going back to Yanai, okay. because Yanai could. I'm not going back to Yanai. Avuad Yishmuel Amar Mehacha. So now Avuad Yishmuel comes, right? And he brings another Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Barech Adonai Chelo, Ufol Yadav Tirtse. What does that mean, Barech Adonai Chelo, Ufol Yadav Tirtse? He says, Afilu Chulin Chebo, Tirtse. He comes and he says like this, when it says, Barech Hashem Chelo, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to bless his Chelo. What does that mean here? He says, Afilu Chulin Shebo, meaning not his strength, but rather even the Chulin Shebo, right? It's going to want it or not, okay? And therefore, right, he's going to come and he says that even the Chalalim are going to be kosher with the Avad. Now remember, we're always talking with the Avad. We're not talking about Lechatchila. So if somebody's going to tell me, ah, Yanai is a... It's not Lechatchila. So everyone agrees with that. Nobody says it's Lechatchila. No, but... Yanai Amar Me'acha. So Yanai comes and he says, No, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to do Lechatchila. That's Halakha. Leave it for somebody else. They're allowed to say that. Right? You want to come, you want to do something with the Avad. What would you do with the Avad? There's a din Lechatchila. Yeah? Ubatai la Kohen asher yeh bayamim ahem. So he comes and he says, You're going to come to the Kohen, but you're going to come during those days. 
וכי תעלה על דעתך שאדם הולך אצל כהן שלא יהיה בימיו? שזה אומר, what does that mean? You're going to go to a כהן that is there in your days. Well, you're going to bring somebody back from the dead? What are you going to do? You're going to come and you're going to say from your ימים להם? So he says, וכי תעלה על דעתך שאדם הולך אצל כהן, right, שלא יהיה בימיו? He says, אלא זה כשר ונתחלל. But rather this כהן is going to be מוחזק ככשר, ואחר כך and afterwards נתברר that he was a חלל, הוא פסול. And therefore, what happens is this, this is the Kohen asher yeh bayamim ahem. Meaning, when he comes and he says that he's going to be bayamim ahem, means that the time he was muhzak kasher, and then even afterwards he became mchalal. So therefore, that's what it says. It's going to be kosher. This is the third part. So how many different psukim did we have that his, that his avodah is still kasher b'diavad? Either vaita lo lo zolo acharav, whether it's zera kasher or zera pasul, or barek Hashem chelo afilu chulin shebo, or three, uvata ila Kohen asher yeh bayamim ahem, even if it's going to be by Yemim Ha'em, it's going to be that in the beginning he was a kasher, and now he will be a pasul. Balmum is going to be a pasul. Now you have a balmum. That his avodah is going to be a pasul. And now how do we know? So he says, Amar Yudah Meshmuel, Sadi Yudah Meshmuel, the Makar Tzad Pasuk, Lachen Emor, Hinni Noteno Abiriti Shalom. He's going to give a peace treaty, Shalom. To who? To Pinehas. So he says, Keshu Shalem. Only when it's going to be Shalem. And not Keshu Chazer. No one is going to be a Shalom. He says one second, but it says Shalom. Shalom is milashon shlemut, right? So how do we know there here that it has to be keshu shalem velo keshu chaser? Amen. Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman says vav de shalom ktiayi. We know that the vav is cut off, right? In the vav, right, it's cut, okay? And therefore, since the vav is like vai, so he vav, so he says it's ketuah beemza. It's leramez shevshal lidrosh et amila zo kilu lo nichteva baot vav. So therefore, it's kilu. It's written shalem, meaning we wanted to say it's not written shalem. So it's in Shalom. So it's written Shalom, my question is that the person has to be Shalem. So he comes and he says, no, since it's Kilu, the Vav is cut, so the Vav is not there. Okay. So it's written Kilu Shalem. And you need to know that it is Shalem, that the person has to be Shalem in order to be the, that means if you have a Balmum, that he does Avodah, even with the Avad, it's not kosher. But if you have a Halal doing the Avodah, even with the Avad, right, it is going to be kosher. So that's yeah, going right. to be the difference. What? That's going to be the difference, right, between one and the other. Next, כל מקום שיש קידושים ואין עבירה. So says the Mishnah, we're on the Mishnah, סמך בא ומוד בית, towards the bottom. We're just going to do the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, כל מקום שיש קידושים ואין עבירה, any time that you have קידושים, and there is no going to be any type of an עבירה, or you know what, we'll go to another time. It says, any time that you have קידושים, and there's no עבירה, חבלד הולך אחר הזכר. He said the child goes after the meal. So one more time, you have קידושים, and no avera, you go after the meal. Ve'eze, what is that? Kohen elav yavi Yisrael. Shen yisru le kohen elav Yisrael. Meaning, you go after the meal. So for example, if Mordechai is a kohen, right? So therefore, what happens? His children are kohenim. If David is a lewi, so what happens? His children are lewiim. Yeah? If right now Ronen is, yeah, a Yisrael, so his children are Yisraelim. So he comes and he says, why? Because since there's no avera in the marriage, so therefore, we go after the Zachar. Vechol makom sheyesh kidushim v'yesh avira. But whenever there's an avira, havla dolech achar ha-pagum. So whenever there's an avira, we go after the pagum. What is that case? Almanah l'kohen gadol. Kedusha v'chalutza l'kohen ediyot. Mamzer v'netina l'yisrael. Bat yisrael v'mzir v'notin. In all these cases, there's an avira. So you go after the defect. So if you have a mamzer getting married to a regular Jew, or a mamzeret getting married to a regular Jew, Right? So are all these cases, you always go after the pagum. You always go after the defect. Whether it's right? from the mother or the father. Doesn't matter. You always go after the defect. But what happens is there's no kiddushin at all. But there's kiddushin from other people. So then the vlad is a mamzer. What's the case? What is that? If somebody goes with a sister, with a mother, with a daughter, with, a, with, a, with, a, all the, with an aunt, with all these people, that, the, that there's no kiddushin. So the, but there is kiddushin with other people, meaning that the sister could get married to another Jew, the, the, the mother, all these people, they could get married to other Jews. So in these cases, so then it's going to be what? It's going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be, uh, it's going to be the Vlad Mamzeh. There's nothing there. The Vlad is like her. What is that? That's a that's a shivcha v'nochrit, a goya, a goya, right? Or a shivcha. In a case of goya and shivcha, there's no kiddushin, not for him and not for nobody. Meaning like this: this Jew that got married to the goya, 
Mm-hmm. Or this Jew that got married to the Shifcha. Mm-hmm. Is there Kiddushin? There's no, no. Kiddushin. Is there Kiddushin for somebody else? Not that one. Can somebody else get married to this Goya or the Shifcha? No. Also not. So whenever there's a case where nobody could get married to them, so the Vlad is like her. So that's a Goya or the Shifcha. That's why the child is a Goya or the child is a Shifcha. But if there's Kiddushin to somebody else, so then the Vlad is like her. So those are the those are the things. Okay? It says the Gemara on the bottom in Samach Vav Amubet. It says the Gemara. Kol makom sheyesh kiddushim. Right? Any time that there's going to be kiddushim and there's no avera, we go after the zakhar. Amar le Rabbi Shimon Rabbi Yochanan. It says Rabbi Shimon to Rabbi Yochanan. So this is the Resh Hakish, right? Rabbi Shimon Malakish to Rabbi Yochanan. Klalahu? Is this a klal? This is a general rule. Te kol makom sheyesh kiddushim in avera. That any time that you have kiddushim and there's no avera, you go after the zakhar, you always go after the male. Hare, what happens now? You have a ger that gets married to a mzeret. There is kiddushin. There's no avera, but the ger is allowed to get married to a mzeret. Yeah. However, though, the blood goes to the pagum. Right? Which means the tanya is willing to write the ger shenasam mzeret. Vlad mzeret. Tivir Rabbi Yosef. So therefore, you came and you told me that as long as there's kiddushin and there's no avera, we go after the zachar. We go after the male. That was to do with the Kohen Levi Yisrael. You remember, we go after the male, but there's Kiddushin, there's no Avera. Here, there's Kiddushin, a Ger to a Mzeret. There's Kiddushin, there's no Avera, but the Ger is a lot. But we go after the Pagum. Yeah. So the answer is the Gemara Amalei. He comes and he tells him, Misavra, do you think Matnitin Rabbi Yosei? Do you think that our Mishnah is Rabbi Yosei? Matnitin, our Mishnah is Rabbi Yuda. The Amar that he says, Ger lo Yisam a Mzeret. The Ger is not allowed to get married to a Mzeret. The kid, the, so therefore, the so, Yishkidushin, and, as, as, and as, therefore as, there's an Avera. And once there's an Avera, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 so it makes sense. Rabbi, Rabbi Yudah, exactly. So our Mishnah is like Rabbi Yudah. So says the Gemara, so if so, so, our Mishnah should have said him in Fugrash then. Gershon and Salam Zeret, that we go after the Pagum. So says the Gemara, Tana kol makom de seifel atuye. He says, no. When it says kol makom, it's mashma that there's other cases as well. Whenever you say kol makom in any case, meaning that there's other cases as well. I mean, we're not, not bringing that. Makom. No, but kol makom just means in any case. Meaning Specific. I'm not, I'm no. not giving you all the cases. They do. In any case, and I'm not giving you all the cases. There's going to be more cases. But I didn't give you all the cases. So says the Gemara, that's going to be the first answer. You can answer another answer. Really, it is a biose. The Tana is zo zo lemiute. So when it said, Ezozo, which means when we said, what is this case? Kohen Elev Yavisel, it's coming to be Mema'et, the other case. Meaning, the fact that he came and he said, which is the case where there's Kiddushin and there's no, uh, there's no Avera that it goes after the Zachar? Ezozo, Kohenim Levim Lisraelim. Those are the only cases. Lemi'ute, Ger Shenasa Mamzeret, that really be a Mete Wuli. So says the Gemara, Ezozo Vetulo, this is why there's no other case, Vare Chalal. A Chalal that gets made to Bat Yisrael. There's Kiddushin, and there's no Avera. The Vlad will be Chachar Zachar, which means that it becomes a Chalala. Yeah, she becomes a Chalala. So I answer the Gemara, Hello, Kash, it's not a question. Can it be Dustai ben Rabbi Yudah? This goes like Rabbi Yudah, right? Rabbi Dustai ben Rabbi Yudah, which means that he actually holds that the Bat is a Chalal, and the Bat Israel is Kshiral Inase Lekeuna, which means that even though she is a Chalal, she's still permitted to get married to a Kohen. And therefore, we're not going to go after the Zachar in this case. That means, it, this is the Shita of Rabbi Dostai ben Rabbi Yudah. So, says Gimana, no, obviously not. Right? Yisrael halala. Says, one second. What about a Yisrael that got married to a Chalala? There's a, a Yisrael that gets married to a Chalala. There's Kiddushin. There's no Avera. You could get married to a Chalala. What's the big deal? You're a Yisrael anyway. <laughs> there's no difference. But still, a Vlad al-Lachar Zachar. It goes after the Zachar, which means that if they have a daughter, she's she to get married to the Kuluna, cool, right. and we're not going to say that she's a Chalala. So says the Gemara, you're right. Tana kol makom dereisha latuye. The Tana is coming and saying that when it says kol makom, this comes to include also all these things, which means it's going to include a Yisrael that gets married to a Chalala, that also the child goes after the Zachar. Okay? And then the Gemara is going to continue with, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I want to actually we learn it, you know, Behedia. I don't 